Welcome back to another episode of Live with Alicia, a business edition. I am honored to be doing one of my first tapings this year with these beautiful ladies, Pasha and Miss Khadija. How are y'all? We are great. Wonderful. Thank you so much for having us. Honor, honor. So you ladies are the CEOs of the Unbraider. Correct. A very necessary, much necessary item. Tell us a little bit about the product. I started taking all the things we were using and trying to figure out. And I said, my concept was, I just wish I could just take them all and just brush them out. That was my concept. So when I thought of that, I said, why can't we just do that? Why can't we create something that can just brush out? Yeah. What happens tonight at midnight? For sale at midnight, we are relaunching, and so now we're back and we're here to stay. And so we have our website, theunbraiderco.com, and so... Wow, congratulations. Cool. So you both are part owners of this company. That's yes. correct. <laughs> now with e-commerce and the way it's at, with Shopify, with social media, now we're using it so that we can reach everyone and they have access to it and we're not having to go through it which we soon will and we're having a pop-up shop um tomorrow at crenshaw mall but now we're right. congratulations yeah. thank, thank you yes to our first pop-up shop so this is a big deal the unbraider this is something that we don't just need on crenshaw we need it in atlanta north philadelphia chicago detroit st louis baltimore i mean we all yeah. we yeah. all are these days That's right. they are very um serious about hair care these days especially with growing their hair and protecting their edges so it just as time went on we had sold it lightly to family to friends to different people who knew but this time this year we decided to go well my daughter decided to pick it back up and go bigger your daughter <laughs> the money stayed in the family all the way in the family okay <laughs> So exactly. me, I've been wearing braids and locks for almost two years now. I, I try to stay away from the weaves and just do like a little twist or a sister lock. So this is definitely something that's about to be in every hair salon all over the world. Yeah, that's the hope. Wish your goal for 2023. For 2023, we're looking first to launch the website, as well as, like you said, get into salons. We're looking to get all the way to Philadelphia, to Miami, to Atlanta. Um, not only in salons, but as well as beauty supply stores. I love it. Uh, but are there any challenges with putting this together? I know that I had to do something at the back end. I was like, it's not going to happen. I would say, like, everything, but everything always works out. Beautiful. Very well said. I love it. What about for um, the, the hustlers out there? Is it maybe a situation where, um, you know how there's like paparazzi accessories and you buy your product and then you sell it? Could somebody buy the unbraider and then resell it like as a, as a, a floor per person like out in the world? Yeah, we're, we're calling those wholesalers. So we're looking for those who want to be wholesalers for the product, um, distributors for the product. Um, yeah, they just hit our website up and inquire on our um, website. And we'll definitely communicate with them on how they see themselves fitting in working with us. That's it. In a way as well, when we were first starting in the 2000s, we go to, we had um, yes. a team of girls and we did malls and things like that and they have their own graders. And so we had to go door to door to door and go to the supplies or to the malls and all around. Right, the un the unbraider street team girls. <laughs> I like that. I like that. The girls. That's right. Wait, you guys have impressive college backgrounds. I've heard we have degrees over there. Talk to you, guys. <laughs> you guys are beautiful and smart. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Um, I went to UC Davis for linguistics. And then I graduated from Boise State with a master's in educational technology. So oh, it, it's, we still apply them now today. Beautiful. And how about you? I graduated from Cal State Long Beach, I think back in 88, 89. I got a dual degree in uh, criminal justice and African studies. Why is that so important to you ladies? Um, the importance of female, especially our, our black females or entrepreneurship. African Studies was uh, always embedded in me to help improve our community, to make sure we start with the family first, our community second, and our race third. So always looking for whatever business I'm in to make sure that those three things that are forefront. There's so many other ways where you can make money and you can be a traveling upgrader. You can be 
a takedown stylist because it's braiding is a passion and it takes a lot and so also when you're just starting off at 14 15 years old you can make easy money by just taking out braids it's an easy process and i thought about when i first created the unbraider i said gosh this is an opportunity for you know young women who uh, choose not to go to college to have their own career you can become an unbraider you can become a, a, have an unbraider chair in every salon it's a profession take down braids you know? well, you ladies have actually gotten really viral too i seen um i heard about some some viral content you guys have going with this no idea it was gonna go viral like at first when it started happening i was like i think i'm going viral i think this is like because of the numbers and i was showing her and she was like okay yeah she was okay. like okay if you say so and i was like mm, i don't know but then once it started reaching yeah right you know, like one million or so then she was like okay yeah. wait, now i know what you're talking about again i don't even know one million so wait you what what hit one million already Take so we had a yeah. video on our instagram that we posted two weeks ago and we're currently at four million views Oh wow! Congratulations! Congratulations! Well, you're my viral queens. I, <laughs> I am excited. It is a wonderful year for entrepreneurship, a wonderful year for our community, and a wonderful year for just us women. Like, oh, it's always something that's crucial to me because you can't. There, like it's cheesy, but there is no I in team, and everything you guys do in life, it really does take a team, takes a village. And so, for us to uplift each other and to see each other because we are such a force to be reckoned with, we're creative, we're innovators, we're smart, and we have so much to offer the world. And so, to protect and to uplift each other is all we need to be able to succeed because we have every other tool. Tell us a little bit about the, the Los Angeles, California vibes. What's, what's the West Coast giving? The West Coast is giving high gas prices, um, but sunny side. <laughs> when can we expect the Atlanta pop-up shop for the unbraiders? We are coming ASAP. I am trying to get to Atlanta. I'm trying to get to Houston. I'm trying to get to Philly, but I'm really excited to get to Atlanta. That is on the mission. That's on the, the schedule to come. And where can everybody follow you? Where can they shop? What's the Instagram page? How can they get in contact if they have inquiries or questions? So you can reach us at on our Instagram is the underscore unbraider and the website is theunbraiderco.com and then for any orders or questions you can reach us at or orders at theunbraiderco.com. That's beautiful. Ladies, I wish you ladies the best. I'm so excited. When you come to Atlanta, Carisha will be ready for the pop-up shot. I have been news, I have planning under my belt. We will definitely make it fabulous. We will make Atlanta fabulous. And I'm from Philadelphia, so I can help with that one too. Okay. <laughs> We're calling you ASAP.